Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting So the aim of today's video is to, um, well the main aim is to show you how to print on fabric Now I've been printing some of my lovely shabadashery um, papers These are the little postcard ones on some fabric and I just think it looks beautiful And as I mentioned in my last video, if you are on my Facebook group and you saw, I think it was Jane um did the lovely sew machine cover with the, this fabric not with this fabric with this paper that she printed on fabric um and it's just brilliant it's absolutely lovely i absolutely love it so i am going to show you how i print on the fabric um so i will show you how i prepare the paper and the fabric to go through my printer um, but I need to do that and I need to pop downstairs as well because this morning I was making some of these little clusters now this is one way printed these are the ones that I've done quite small um, I think I was did it 40% um, but you know you just play around with your your sizing as well but I'll try and show you on my computer how we do it um, or I'll get Andy to do it. We shall see. But I just think these would look lovely as little clusters in the journal. So I just made a few, not that one, one on top of it, um, like this. Really simple, just sewn on the sewing machine. Um, and then I've got this little one here. And I've also made this beautiful little um, pouch as well. Um, so I've used some of my new fabric. So if you saw my last video, I showed you some of the bits and pieces that I bought back from Spain. Um, which are lovely so this is um, the fabric from a skirt um, which I've used which I've just covered a piece of tea stain paper I popped a little popper on there look I've actually sewed a little popper on there um, and I just think it's lovely so I've just so attached this to a piece of paper just to give it a little bit more stability um, but it's just lovely isn't it and I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for but I might see if it will fit in the inside cover of the journal so that's the aim today is to show you how to print on fabric but I just want to show you how far I am with bits oh if you saw my last video I was going to bleach this so I just wanted to show you how it came out because this is quite dark this is one of the um bits of lacy tops that I brought that I got in Spain where they're on you know in the market um, and I did bleach it and look at that that is so much better to work with isn't it it's a little bit dark in places um, but this is just a sleeve but that's perfect so I will definitely be bleaching the whole thing because I don't think I will use it in this colour only sort of like like I said before sort of Halloweeny bits um, it's quite dark but that's definitely more usable so I thought I would show you that it's bleached quite well it's sort of like a pinky colour actually um, I didn't use a huge amount of bleach um, so I'm not sure whether it would actually go white but it doesn't have to go white do you know what I mean it's, that's a, a lovely colour so let's pop that to the side this is how far I've got on the journal cover oh what I've done I've got some bits ready because you don't we've been through journals before so you know basically um, what we do I'm going to do a three signature journal again so what I've done I've just printed the papers and I've printed um, on the back as well and I've added a little bit of um, tea stain paper in these every other page is a tea stain paper so I've just got three three printed papers and two tea stain papers um, so that means we've got 10 pages per signature, which is lovely. So, beautiful. Now, I've used, this is out of the kit, but there's also this paper as well, which were for the Kofi members. And this one I thought went really well as well. And this is from one of my, um, I think it was from the calendar journal. I'll link it down below. Um, you might all probably already have it but just use whatever papers you've got that match in but look at that I just think they are just beautiful so that's that one and then we've got this one um, like this so I just think it's lovely lovely just beautiful look at that um, so that's all done so that's the three signatures made up so again I'm not making it huge 
um, so we've got 10, so that's 30 pages and three signatures. Um, but then we can actually, you know, pop quite a bit of stuff in those because we've got all of this from Friday freebies and bits and pieces to go in it. Um, so hopefully we won't have to make too much more. Um, there's some extra bits that I was going to use. Let's pop that to the side. Now the cover I have made um, out of chipboard. Now I brought some more some chipboard while I was away because I found it in um, one of the shops and it's like this. It just packs a bit and it's quite cheap um, and it's really nice and quite sturdy. I wanted this one, although I wanted it to be a fabric cover journal, I didn't want it to be floppy because I wanted it to go onto my um, shelf um, and I didn't, I, you know, if it's all floppy and bendy. Um, you know, it just sort of like sags, doesn't it? So what I've done, I've measured this by six by nine. So this is six inches, or we have, what, 15 centimetres. And then we have nine inches, uh, 23 centimetres. And the spine is four centimetres or one and a half inches. Um, which is generally what the size of the spine that I normally do but I wanted this to be just a little bit longer what do they do with them here they are because some of the pages are a little bit bigger and I wanted this now I don't want anything coming out the bottom so if I wanted to put some lace on it we've got that much room to pop lace on so when it sits on the shelf everything's not going to go all bendy um, it's going to sit quite nicely um, so it fits this way nicely and then it's just nine inches so um, just a little bit taller than normal and then we've got my lovely little bit of slow stitching my attempt which I'm quite liking I did add a little bit more I did show you in the last video I moved this one because it was quite low down um, and it wouldn't have gone because I have to sort of like cut some of this off or turn it in it wouldn't have quite fitted so I did actually take that off and move it I popped another one on here so these again these are the little printed fabric from the the kit and they've also printed the little tape measure bit on there as well pop that on so loving this so what I will have to do I might actually do this off camera but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do because I want to take my time doing it. I will just sort of like fold these in like that um, and stick them down and I will probably sew around it. Okay, so it will come like that. I love it, but it's still quite hard. So what I'm going to do, just to give it an extra little bit of, of softness, I've got some uh, felt. Now I've only got red but not that it really matters because you're not going to see it anyway. So I'm just going to put a piece on this side and a piece on this side just to give it a little bit more. If you've got some sort of batting or something like that, you could probably use that. Um, but although I want it to look um, fabric-y, I, I want it to be sort of like quite a sturdy one as well. So that's my aim. So I will do that. And then we will probably embellish down this spine as well. Um, I've got an idea of just doing a little embellishment with some thimbles. So I hope that works. So, so we can have some little dingly danglies off that. But I will probably attach this off, off camera anyway. Um, just so that I can take my time doing it. So that's that. So let's get on. I just wanted to show you how far I've got. So let's get on with doing the um, printing. So what I'm using, I'm using some matte white paper, but this is self-adhesive um, sticky paper. Um, so this is the one that I use. Now, I haven't been able to get this one, so maybe they've got that back in stock. I got it from Amazon, and it's just sticky paper, but it's got the yellow back. So when you're actually using it for making stickers or things like that, um, a lot of them have the white backing, so you never know which way to put it into the computer, into the, not the computer, into the printer. Um, so I like this one because it's got the yellow back. It's um, 80 GSM and it's for inkjet or laser printers. I will pop some links for um, sticker paper underneath the video anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take one sheet of that and I think this is the best thing to use to print fabric on. 
um, and what I'm going to use I'm going to use the rest of this or another piece of this now this is like an old cotton napkin um, a big one which is lovely so I've used this pit that I did to print on these bases like that and it comes out lovely and soft really really soft so let's just pop that over there so what I'm going to do I'm actually going to turn it I don't know whether is that going to be big enough not quite going to turn it around this way now I have sort of ironed this like that right make sure you can see okay so all I'm going to do is stick this to here and then cut it out but what I'm going to do I'm just going to just take the backing just off a little bit not all of it like this I can and I'm just going to fold that just so that we get a nice edge and I'm not sort of like getting myself all muddled up right so I'm just going to pop that on there I'm going to cut around it so just stick that I hope this isn't going blurry on you so just stick that on pull that off like that. so try and get your desk nice and clear to do this or a nice surface so you end up with a really nice flat surface little bits and pieces on here so that looks pretty flat doesn't it so let's turn that back over I know it's not easy to see white on white now where's my big scissors here they are I've got my nice big fabric scissors now I'm going to just cut this out like this just just so I'm not working with a great big piece of fabric now you can use any sheets or anything like that I've not tried anything too thick now this is quite nice this is this is sort of like um, thickish not thickish but it's it's a nice quality um, and you want something that's quite sort of smooth nothing too lumpy bumpy now you want to make sure you cut this all the way around nicely just so you've got a really nice clean edge especially the bit that's going to be you know this bit that's going to actually go into your your printer you don't want anything dangling off that at all because um, you don't want anything to be caught um, it's better to be you know take your time because you don't want to um, you know ruin your printer oops I think I'm cutting the paper here oops. just cut it off nicely so yes get yourself a nice sharp pair of scissors as well There's probably other ways to do it I'm not sure but this is the way that I I do it because my printer actually takes the paper in and brings it back out again I think you can do it differently if you've got a printer that just takes it in from the top if you know what I mean it's all sort of like printed on you know the same side um, but you've got to make sure each little edge is nice and clean no, I, no little dingly dangly bits off so make sure we snip all these tiny little pieces off like that so then we have this lovely bit and take all your little fluffy bits off nice piece of um, cotton onto your sticker paper right so now what I'm going to do I'm going to go downstairs and I am going to get it all ready so you, I can show you how I actually pop it through the computer, through the, through the printer and we print it out. So there we go guys, two seconds. Okay guys, so we're downstairs in with Andy's computer. Um, we've got the Shabadashery um, papers open um, on the computer. So Andy's just going to pick four images that we're going to use, four of the papers, um, and then he will talk you through what we're doing. Hi guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to select our four images by holding control 
and clicking the four we want like so we're going to right click we're then going to choose the print option we're going to come down and choose the four to a page option and then we will press print okay perfect so i hope that was good um, i'm just going to flip over to the printer to show you how um, i just pop it into the printer and print it okay guys so we are at the printer i've got a hp mv photo 6230 so all i'm going to do i'm going to just open up the drawer now i'm going to pop the fabric down so you've got the fabric on the the bottom and just slide that in like that close that up and then we are just going to print, print. we go perfect so that is printed lovely on the fabric on there so I'm just going to take it upstairs um, and we will start cutting them out okay so back upstairs so I hope that was a sort of like a, a nice quick explanation on how to print on your um, fabric um, I haven't tried thicker fabric it all depends on your your printer um, but again you can print the whole page if you want to but because I'm making sort of like embellishments I just want to print I want to get as much as I can from the piece of fabric because um, I'm not sure I think it probably eats up a little bit more ink um, so doing like little embellishment bits I think is probably a little bit more cost effective um, so that's you know it all depends what you want to do but now all I'm going to do I'm going to actually try and peel this off now my printer will leave a little white border now i don't mind that when it's like this um i've tried everything it won't i can't not um get that little um white border it's just impossible since the update on my printer it's um decided to not give print the whole page now it's not the easiest because this paper is the printer the sticker paper is very sticky um, but I'm sure I wouldn't I would I like it really sticky paper like this because I don't want to ruin my my printer so I rather it's stuck down really really well now you could probably use that again because this is quite sticky it will take bits of your fabric off depending what fabric you're using um, but it does peel off quite easy once you've you know once you get going so just be gentle the thinner the fabric the more it will sort of like stretch so just be careful um, like that just do it nice and gently nice and sticky okay now I'm going to keep this piece let me just pop that out of the way might be able to use that again so look it has frayed this bit so this is why I don't mind the white border this time because I'm not going to use those bits can you see it's just slightly out of shape but that's good that's okay a little bit wibbly wobbly so I've got the four little ones on this side so I'm just going to cut those out and we will just make a couple of little embellishments just to pop in our journal um, but I just thought it might be easy just to quickly show you how to print on fabric um, and then you can make some lovely little embellishments as well so let's just cut this down I've got my nice sharp scissors little fabric scissors well they're not little they're huge Let's just cut them out. Which ones should we have? No, I think I've done these ones. Did I do these ones? Oh, no, I didn't. That's not that one, is it? Let's just cut these out. But again, you can make little purses and pouches and a little sort of pin book and stuff, which um, I think I'm going to do with one of these. Just fold it in half and make it like a little pin needle book. Um, 
So let's, I think I've got so many ideas for this journal um, that I'm not going to get them all done. So I might have to do another one at some point. Because there's only so much you can fit into a journal, isn't there? But this one, I just want it. I just think it's lovely. Really, really lovely. And I want to sort of enjoy making it. I don't want to sort of rush too much. Okay, so that's our four little what these four little um, shrunk down postcards or pages because these are pages as well, and they are really really soft, really really soft. So just be careful that they don't fray. Okay, I'm going to pop this to the side. We don't need this one for now. I'll just do these little four. Now these are I did these ones slightly different. So these ones are a little bit smaller to these because um, I'm. I have all the elements obviously on the computer so I just shrunk them down and put a whole different load on a page um, but obviously because they're they're almost the same size aren't they um, but you can just do whatever you like how you do it but I'm hoping that Andy showed you um, and it made sense to you so all I'm going to do I've got a few bits of fabric the same sort of like bits that I've got on my front cover um, so I'm just going to take little scrap pieces. We're going to do a little bit of sewing now on the machine. I was going to sort of slow stitch these, but um, I think I'm just going to do them on the machine. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to layer up some little bits like this. Which one shall we have? This one, I think. I think they just look lovely. So I'm going to use a little bit of this as well. Let's pop these over there. So I've got a little bit more room. Got the lovely little spotty. And I'm going to use a little bit of this as well. I want to start using the um, fabric that I got from Spain as well. I want to sort of incorporate that in the in the journal. So I'm just going to snip some little bits off. I'm going to just sort of wrinkle this bit up just so it looks a little bit tattier and then I need a little bit of lace on here don't I as well I think so these make lovely little bits to go on pockets don't they I think so should we have that as the background like this let's put that down let's put that down like that Now I need some lace. Let's pick some of my new lace out of here. Let's use some of this, shall we? Actually, this is the one that I got from um, Timu. I might use this because this is really pretty, isn't it? Should we just use a little bit of this on there? Snip, snip that down. I should really just go through my um, scraps. Look at that, lovely, lovely, lovely. So what I might do, let me just take these off. I'm gonna sew these first, I think. Right, I'm gonna put that one together. Let's just make one more. I do like this one. Let's have a little bit of this so that we can do two. See this one here, you can actually then attach that to a bit of fabric and make it into a pocket, can't we, on there. So what should we have to lose that bit? Let's take some of this. Oh, I've got a little, lovely little bit of lace here. Let's take this bit off. It's this way around, I think. Let's have a little bit of this. So if you're going to make a fabric cover, um, keep some bits and pieces back so you can make the embellishment so it all sort of like um, coordinates nicely. Not that it has to. You can have it as mish, mishmash, mishmash as you like. There we go. Perfect. Should we have a little bit of something on there? Look at that, we could have a little bit of bling on there, couldn't we? We'll be careful on this because it's got beads on there, sewing on here. So let's just, 
Okay, so I didn't put any of this on the front cover, so maybe I will add a little bit. Should we just have a little bit of that just going down the side? A little bit of sparkle. A little bit of sparkle. We can always add a little bit more after. Right, I'm going to pop this. I'm going to pop these down because I'm going to bring it in my sewing machine. Let's just pop this over. Let's see where we need to be. There. I think probably there. I think you can sort of like see this bit, can't you? So let's take these little bits off. Now I'm going to pop that on there. I'm just going to randomly sort of sew them together. So let's just pop that down. Let me find my little foot thing wherever it's gone. Ow! Oh, my back's still sore. Ouch. There we go. And there we go. Some of this is going to be hidden by the um, little printed fabric, so. I'm not really bothered how I sew it, so I'm just going to... I might change and do a little bit of, like, zigzag on here as well. Seeing we've got a sort of, like, fabric shabadashery one we want some nice different sort of stitching don't we as well let's go around here let's change this again what shall we have shall we just have number 22 which is like a wibbly wobbly line to a just a straight stitch look at that fabulous I love it okay that will do whether you'll see any of that I'm not sure now where's my scissors okay let's get my little fiskers ones out let's just snip that off there we go look at that so that's the lovely little wibbly wobbly line that's lovely isn't it and then what we want to do, you probably won't see it. Maybe I'll... No, you're not going to see it because I'm going to cover it up now, aren't I, with this. But I could pop it somewhere else, couldn't I? Let's just... Let's just sew this on. Just go around the edge like that. Now again, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can all obviously do this all by hand, um, which is lovely. I think I might actually do a few, maybe I'll sit down and watch TV tonight, sit in front of the telly and do a little bit of slow stitching embellishments. Again, we can add to this when we pop it onto our little pockets. Let's get rid of these little bits like that. Perfect. But look at that. That's fabulous. Now, I did have, can you see, I've made some little flowers on here with that lovely, this is so soft, um, which I might make a couple of little flowers and then we could sort of like add them onto here. I did have another one, but I don't know what I've done with it. A little bit of seam binding, but I think a little flower on there would look lovely. Um, and that on um, 
a little pocket in there. It's beautiful, isn't it? You could probably pop a little, maybe we could. Oh, well, I'll get them out and we can add to these on another video. Um, just a sort of like a few pins or a little bowl pin with the little buttons hanging off it. So we will add to these at some point. So shall we just sew this one together? So this is, I might just sew that on as is, I think. I will just go straight in and sew this. that's on there let's pop this on there we can just sew I need to just sew down this little bit because we've actually got beads on there so you need to be a little bit careful it doesn't get caught in your needle Thing I think I might do actually is um, just stitch down the side of the pages because I'll tell you what I like that little this one this stitch here that was really nice so going down the side of a page would look really nice wouldn't it there we go guys so a couple of those so that's made out of the lovely printed fabric that we did let's just pop that to the side a minute which I love them so look at that doesn't that look good I think they are lovely really really nice and so soft so yeah I will make a couple of little flowers and all as I did to make the flowers on these was cut a strip and just the same as I do my little seam binding flowers um, I just gathered it up into a little loop and there we go so love them but I'm loving these loving these so these can go into our little pile here so all of these bits and pieces are going to go into our journal um, they can go in there I will carry on and make some more got some bigger ones there so I've got lots and lots of bits to carry on with but I hope you um, will be able to print on some fabric because I think they look really really lovely so there we go guys well thank you so so much for joining me I will pop a link down below for the paper um, and um, I hope you will give it a go and if there's other ways there's obviously other ways that you can you can print um, on fabric but I found this the easiest easiest way because you know sticking it onto paper sticky paper um, it's not going to get caught in your printer because um, that's the scary bit isn't it if everything gets caught in there um, you have um, ruined your printer and I can't afford to do that absolutely not but loving them and it's so soft all right guys well thank you so so much for joining me have a fantastic rest of the day take care stay safe and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.